it all started in early 20th century. France they introduced the idea of some. Fancy French word basically eating small. Amounts of beautifully served food 5 10. 15 up to 20 courses in one meal you. Could try soups appetizers pastries. Pastas rudos all that good stuff when. You go to a restaurant to try a new dish. It stops tasting life changing after. About the tenth mouthful when you're only. Given a few bites worth you somehow APPR. Appreciate the taste more luxury. Restaurants always try to be as. Different as they can from cheaper. Places they've got elegant interiors. Expensive cutlery and small portions the. Opposite of what you get at your regular. Diner it makes the meal more unusual. That's why it's more memorable truffles. Caviar all those fancy schmancy. Ingredients cost a lot and deep down you. Know that so when you see them bring a tiny plate with a tiny serving your brain's happy it's logical somehow how would you feel if you ordered a cheap plate of something fainty and it was huge? You'd be weirded out wondering if the quality was really low or something. Luxury restaurants get their ingredients from various places it's not really a one-stop shop thing that adds up fast a Bigger portion would be so expensive. Even for the wealthiest customers most. Fancy restaurants have at least three to six. Course meals at some you might get up to. Thirty you wouldn't be able to try them all. If they were regular size and if they. Keep the portion sizes down you'll have. Room for dessert and a fancy coffee. Which means extra money for the. Restaurant it's all designed to give you. The limited edition vibe you're always more likely to appreciate something that's rare and exclusive a mountain of pasta is something you can cook at home any old time some strands of multicolored pasta spread across a plate of exotic veggies that's got food selfie written all over over it now gourmet chefs don't just cook they create edible works of art and it's a lot easier to Make a masterpiece with fewer things on. The plate the more you slap on there the. More it'll look like that meal you cook. When you're just trying to empty out. Your fridge and for the customer it's. Not easy to look elegant when you're. Trying to shove a huge burger in your. Mouth when you're eating your tiny. Portion at a fancy table wearing nice. Clothes you can't not look elegant some. Restaurants are switching it up offering. Regular and smaller size meal options. It's perfect if you can't eat that much. Or dieting or want to save some money. But it's not like the smaller portions. Are going to be fancier they'll just be. Smaller most restaurants have dim. Lighting and cozy secluded seating areas. To make you feel more comfortable and. Relaxed and stay longer and order more. You'll feel less guilty about ordering a ton of expensive food when you feel in. Invisible in the dark smells can affect. Your meal choices vanilla and cinnamon. Make you crave dessert the smell of. Bacon might make you order a bigger. Breakfast lavender helps you relax slow. Down and eat and spend more fancy. Restaurants use incense and nice. Smelling oils to try to make you order. More at cheaper restaurants it's all. Different when you sit by the window and see people in sunlight you're more likely to feel conscious of your choices and order something healthy and sensible. Like vegetables wraps you know that sort of thing and you're more likely to order a full meal cause you think someone might judge you or something they put up TVs everywhere to distract you that way. You're more likely to agree to whatever. The waiter's offering you sitting at a high top bar table makes you more alert. Since you can't lean back and relax, you're more likely to order eat and leave than they can fill the table with someone else. Where can you always find fast food at? The mall and at any rest stop there. Hoping you just impulse be you something. Even when you're not hungry just looking at food or people eating can make you Crave that burger and restaurants pay. Big bucks to get help designing there. 
menus they use something called power. Positioning it helps you pick something. Even if you didn't know you wanted it. Whatever's on the top right of the front. Page that's what they want you to order. You'll always we see the most expensive. Ingredients mentioned in the dish. Description even if it only has one tiny. Drop of it you'll want to order it for. That luxury vibe some gourmet. Restaurants really do make their specials out of the freshest ingredients. The one they just got in that morning. Most specials though they're made from. Stuff that's about to expire that way. They don't waste as much food and watch. Out the specials at fancy restaurants. Might cost more than your new iPhone. Even the most luxurious places can. Always cook everything from scratch. Frozen veggies sapped in the microwave. Vacuum-packed soups they dump in hot. Water they might even use leftover. Shredded veggies from the salad bar too. Make tomorrow soup of the day when the greeter at the front door tells you. There's a 20-minute wait they just made. It up can they see into the future how. Do they know exactly how long it's going? To take for that couple at the corner. Table to finish their pasta and leave. That specific wait time just makes you. Feel more relaxed plus it makes it look. Like the restaurants really well. Manage the restaurant manager knows. You're more likely to order a $20 pizza. If it's right below a $45 steak you. Might also fall for the special $3 off. Dessert even if it's still 15 bucks it's. Called the anchoring effect your brain. Gets stuck on the $3 off bit and ignores. The actual price when a friendly waiter. Invites you to take another look look at. The menu it's impossible to say no you. Naturally want to please others the. Waiters know which items to push and. They'll describe them to you in the most. Beautiful way or recommend them as their. Personal favorites just try it ask them. To recommend you a dessert I bet you. Anything it'll be the most expensive one. The music you hear at restaurants. Affects the taste of food you're more. Likely to rate your pasta or pizza as. Authentic if they're pumping out some. Italian Oper jams chips taste fresher. When they crunch super loud and oysters. Feel salter when there's some sort of. Caribbean music going on waiters always. Wanna start you off with a drink. Before you even open the menu to catch. You off guard and if one person orders a. Pricey drink chances are everyone else. Well two menus that don't use dollar. Signs make you feel better and more. Relaxed about spending money and they. Don't use sense either the less numbers. You see that the more you're going to be. Willing to pay you're more likely to. Order a meal that has a long juicy name. Like seasoned with fire grilled fish. Filet with our head chef's signature. Sauce and Uncle John's secret recipe. Fried potatoes I'm in hey sorry guys. That sounds better than grilled fish. With potatoes the first one sounds. Expensive and like it's a secret family. Recipe restaurants always like to make. Meals sound more authentic that's why. They're always loaded with foreign words. Makes it seem extra fancy restaurants. Get busy at lunch at least that's the. Plan to stop you from noticing that you're. Meals taking forever they slow. Everything else down too they'll keep. You waiting for a table then sit you at. An empty table then put out the dishes. And cutlery then bring you the menu then. Well you get the picture sorry to burst. You're bubble but you aren't always the. First customer to get that bread basket. What's left from the previous guest. You might be eating that right now when. Waiters bring you free snacks there. Trying to make you thirsty all those. Chips and crackers are packed with. Sodium when you eat too much of it your. Body sends a signal to your kidneys that. It's time to flush out the system before. You know what you're ordering a bunch of. Extra. Drinks the national Jamaican fruit achy. Has a truly unique taste that's mild and. Buttery and people who tried it say it. Tastes just like scrambled exits. 
safe to eat aki only as long as it's fully ripe so the import of raw akis was banned in the U.S. almost 50 years ago the only edible part is the white creamy flesh itself the pink flesh looks mouth-watering but don't fall for it it's highly toxic same with the black seed sour soup is one more fruit banned from the U.S. because of its toxins it's also referred to as guanabana and can release toxic substances leading to some very unpleasant effects if not ripe sour. Soup fans don't be sad chances are you. Might find some frozen pulp in supermarkets another thing that should be 100% ripe to be safe is elderberry. Raw elderberry is rich in vitamin C which is good for you and cyanide which is not that good these berries are quite popular though you can find them in pies, syrups, teas, jams, you name it fully ripe. And cooked berries aren't dangerous and nope it's not banned cyanide doesn't seem that serious when it comes to food. With tetrodotoxin which is 1,200 times stronger puffer fish is a Japanese delicacy and it's loaded with the substance no person can eat this fish without consequences but Japanese chefs have mastered their skills to perfection. To make it edible they simply remove the poisonous parts this delicacy is called. Called fugu and costs about $200 per portion you could buy a whole bunch of totally safe salmon instead it's almost completely banned in the US there are only a few authorized places that sell it but you probably don't feel like Having such a gastronomic adventure. Either. Way quesum marzo literally means rotten. Chee sorry you can't try a bite of it. In the US so in case you can't resist. The temptation just head to the island. Of Sardinia, Italy. In fact it's just sheep milk cheese with. A pinch of let's say magic special flies. Leave their eggs right inside that. Cheese and they stay there for 40 days. At the moment it's ready for consumption. This cheesy delicacy has some live. Maggots taking care of decomposing it. Thanks to them the cheese has that. Distinctive texture and spicy flavor. It's banned in the US for sanitary. Reasons unlike soft and creamy cast sorrow. The Himalayan cheese chirpy is famous. For being the world's hardest just like. Any regular product of this type it's. Made from milk what makes it different is that it stays fresh for up to 20 years. The milk is quite special to the cows which are actually a cross between cows and yaks eat a variety of mountain herbs. This milk has a unique flavor thanks to those herbs but be careful with your teeth nibbling on that hardest stone. Cheese in Singapore you'll never have cavities because of chewing gum and nope. It's not because they take care of your teeth the thing is it's completely illegal there this place is known for. It's cleanliness and the country spent a fortune cleaning all the spots and banning chewing gum it was prohibited. Back in 1992 when vendors had to stop the sales immediately to avoid super high fines walking down the supermarket aisles while traveling to different destinations you may spot that there's no raw milk in stock it's prohibited in many U.S. states and other countries including Canada Norway Finland Sweden Denmark and Scotland for sanitary reasons while raw milk is a no-go for Scotland haggis is completely fine there still it's banned in the U.S. if you live in the states and you're under 45 chances are you've never tried haggis since it was prohibited almost half a century ago. This Scottish pudding is made of a full range of sheep's inner parts mixed with some oatmeal and spiced up with a bunch of minced onions oh and don't forget so. It in some broth the texture is crumbly and coarse and no surprise the dish is quite spicy it's usually served with mashed potatoes or mashed turnip cassava is a poisonous tropical root with two types the sweet variation does contain 
some cyanide but it's enough to cook it. To reduce the toxic content to a non-toxic level to get rid of all the toxins and bitter cassava it's necessary. To grate the root then soak it and finally cook properly to make it edible. This root is very starchy and its flavor is really subtle cassava can be used. Just like potatoes mashed boiled or fried what you think how about some haggis with mashed cassava instead of potatoes on the side by the way harmless. Potatoes aren't that safe either. It all depends on whether it's ripe or not so-called green potatoes are full of toxins and potato sprouts are also quite unsafe same with green almonds and cashews which are full of cyanide if not ripe enough luckily the nuts we get at get stuck on the three dollars off bit and ignores the actual price when a friendly waiter invites you to take another look look at the menu it's impossible to say no you naturally want to please others the waiters know which items to push and they'll describe them to you in the most beautiful way or recommend them as their personal favorites just try it ask them to recommend you a dessert i bet you anything it'll be the most expensive one the music you hear at restaurants affects the taste of food you're more likely to rate your pasta or pizza as authentic if they're pumping out some italian oper jams chips taste fresher when they crunch super loud and oysters feel salter when there's some sort of Caribbean music going on waiters always. Wanna start you off with a drink. Before you even open the menu to catch. You off guard and if one person orders a. Pricey drink chances are everyone else. Well two menus that don't use dollar. Signs make you feel better and more. Relaxed about spending money and they. Don't use sense either the less numbers. You see that the more you're going to be. Willing to pay you're more likely to. Order a meal that has a long juicy name. Like seasoned with fire grilled fish. Filet with our head chef's signature. Sauce and Uncle John's secret recipe. Fried potatoes I'm in hey sorry guys. That sounds better than grilled fish. With potatoes the first one sounds. Expensive and like it's a secret family. Recipe restaurants always like to make. Meals sound more authentic that's why. They're always loaded with foreign words. Makes it seem extra fancy restaurants. Get busy at lunch at least that's the. Plan to stop you from noticing that you're. Meals taking forever they slow. Everything else down too they'll keep. You waiting for a table then sit you at. An empty table then put out the dishes. And cutlery then bring you the menu then. Well you get the picture sorry to burst. Your bubble but you aren't always the. First customer to get that bread basket. What's left from the previous guest. You might be eating that right now when. Waiters bring you free snacks there. Trying to make you thirsty all those. Chips and crackers are packed with. Sodium when you eat too much of it your. Body sends a signal to your kidneys that. Is time to flush out the system before. You know what you're ordering a bunch of. Extra. Drinks the national Jamaican fruit achy. Has a truly unique taste it's mild and. Buttery and people who tried it say it. Tastes just like scrambled exits. Safe to eat achy only as long as it's. Fully ripe so the import of raw achies was. Banned in the US almost 50 years ago the. Only edible part is the white creamy. Flesh itself the pink flesh looks. Mouth-watering but don't fall for it it's. Highly toxic same with the black. Seed sour soup is one more fruit banned. From the US because of its toxins it's. Also referred to as guanabana and can. Release toxic substances leading to some. Very unpleasant effects if not ripe sour. Soup fans don't be sad chances are you. Might find some frozen pulp in. Supermarkets another thing that should. Be 100% ripe to be safe is elderberry. Raw elderberry is rich in vitamin C. Which is good for you and cyanide which. Is not that good these berries are quite. 
popular though you can find them in pies. Syrups, teas, jams, you name it fully ripe. And cooked berries aren't dangerous and... Nope, it's not banned cyanide doesn't. Seem that serious when it comes to food. With tetrodotoxin, which is 1,200 times. Stronger puffer fish is a Japanese. Delicacy, and it's loaded with the substance no person can eat this fish without consequences but japanese chefs have mastered their skills to perfection to make it edible they simply remove the poisonous parts this delicacy is called called fugu and costs about two hundred dollars per portion you could buy a whole bunch of totally safe salmon instead it's almost completely banned in the u.s there are only a few authorized places that sell it but you probably don't feel like having such a gastronomic adventure. Either. Way case of marzo literally means rotten. Cheese sorry you can't try a bite of it. In the US so in case you can't resist. The temptation just head to the island. Of Sardinia, Italy. In fact it's just sheep milk cheese with. A pinch of let's say magic special flies. Leave their eggs right inside that cheese and they stay there for 40 days. At the moment it's ready for consumption. This cheesy delicacy has some live. Maggots taking care of decomposing it. Thanks to them the cheese has that. Distinctive texture and spicy flavor. It's banned in the US for sanitary. Reasons unlike soft and creamy cast sorrow. The Himalayan cheese chirpy is famous. For being the world's hardest just like. Any regular product of this type it's made from milk what makes it different is that it stays fresh for up to 20 years the milk is quite special to the cows which are actually a cross between cows and yaks eat a variety of mountain herbs this milk has a unique flavor thanks to those herbs but be careful with your teeth nibbling on that hardest stone cheese in Singapore you'll never have cavities because of chewing gum and nope. It's not because they take care of your teeth the thing is it's completely illegal there this place is known for. It's cleanliness and the country spent a fortune cleaning all the spots and banning chewing gum it was prohibited. Back in 1992 and vendors had to stop the sales immediately to avoid super high fines walking down the supermarket. Isles while traveling to different destinations you may spot that there's no raw milk in stock it's prohibited in many U.S. states and other countries, including Canada, Norway, Finland, Sweden, Denmark and Scotland for sanitary reasons while raw milk is a no-go for. Scotland haggis is completely fine there. Still it's banned in the U.S. if you live in the states and you're under 45. Chances are you've never tried haggis. Since it was prohibited almost half a century ago. This Scottish pudding is made of a full range of sheep's inner parts mixed with some oatmeal and spiced up with a bunch of minced onions. Oh, and don't forget so. It in some broth the texture is crumbly and coarse and no surprise the dish is quite spicy it's usually served with. Mashed potatoes or mashed turnip cassava is a poisonous tropical root with two types the sweet variation does contain some cyanide but it's enough to cook it to reduce the toxic content to a non-toxic level to get rid of all the toxins and bitter cassava it's necessary to grate the root then soak it and finally cook properly to make it edible. This root is very starchy and its flavor is really subtle cassava can be used. Just like potatoes mashed boiled or fried what you think how about some haggis with mashed cassava instead of potatoes on the side by the way harmless. Potatoes aren't that safe either. It all depends on whether it's ripe or not so called green potatoes are full of toxins and potato sprouts are also quite unsafe same with green almonds and Cashews which are full of cyanide if not ripe enough luckily the nuts we you can take add. advantage of the first 20 
minutes after your purchase the faster. You eat the longer it will take you to. Feel full scientists say it takes about. 20 minutes for our stomachs to inform. Our brain okay now I'm. Full it's a good idea to eat in a clean. Area but most of these companies are. Using cleaning products that have super. Strong chemicals assume that the staff. Clean the place at the end of their. Shift they wipe down the soda machine. And grill surface and then you showed up. Early the next day you may get some of. That chemical residue on your food. Compared to other customers visiting the. Place later in the. Day the vegan patty may not be 100%. Vegan I'm talking about the grill not. The meat itself in most of the chains. Vegan burgers are cooked on the same. Grill as meat. Burgers do you have fast food chain. Secrets you want to share tell them to. Fellow brightsiders in the. Comments.